Hey guys, so uh, I'm in a really awkward angle right now because we're going to be filming a lipstick collection slash declutter video. Ta-da! I'm hoping this video is not like a complete disaster because then I have to refilm it and I'm like don't want to do that. Literally this video is just me decluttering honestly. And I'm really excited because I have some new lipsticks and I'm ex like, I don't know, I'm just excited to get rid of the old things and put in the new things. I'm definitely a lipstick-holic, okay? I am a lipstick-holic. It's kind of bad, but I really, really enjoy lipsticks. It just makes me feel so beautiful and i don't know whenever i wear a uh, lipstick it just really picks up my look like sometimes i will wear nothing on my face except lipsticks and it just makes such a big difference so yeah let me share with you guys my lipstick and let's start okay so this is my lipstick collection i think i have over a hundred lipsticks not gonna lie i kind of categorize them based on the brands usually so over here i have mostly my 3ce um yeah i think pretty much 3ce color pop and maybelline and then down here is kind of like a mix of like revlon elf um naming and then just some miscellaneous ones over here we have G9 Skin, um, some Japanese brand back here. These are like some Japanese brands and also some miscellaneous ones. And then Ed to House and over here is also Ed to House. And then in front is just more miscellaneous. Then over here is my large <laughs> Betty Beta collection. If you guys know, I really like Betty Beta. They have great color selection as well as um, finish for very affordable prices. And then over here is mostly my lip gloss. Um, I love lip gloss. I kind of been obsessed with lip gloss now for maybe about a year or two. And then over here is a lot of my travel size, like kind of samples type of lipsticks. And then I have my Venti Beauty over here as well because I love Venti Beauty. Um, and then finally over here is my uh, more expensive lipsticks. Um, so I like to put them in the front because that way I can go to them more and like use them <laughs> just because um, I want to make my money's worth, okay? So yeah, those are my more expensive um, lipsticks. And yeah, this is like the overview of my collection. Yes, it is quite a bit compared to the average like buyer, but it's because I do a lot of lipstick reviews and also I love lipsticks. Like I said, I am a lipstick holic. <laughs> and if you guys are new around here, hey, I'm Sandy. I make beauty content on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. And of course, follow me on my social media. I have Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook page as well. And I have a blog. So go check First, it out. First, we're going to start off with my 3CE collection. I have a massive 3CE collection and it's kind of bad because some of these, like especially the ones on the top, the um, like 3CE lip um, velvet lip tints, these are have already expired. I actually did a review on these before and there is on my, it's already on my channel and it's literally from back from 2017 and yeah, they're pretty much pretty old they're about like three years old and to be honest i don't really gravitate towards them that much anymore so i believe i will get rid of all of these so unfortunately my heart breaks i need to get rid of these these are time to trash <laughs> next we have the color pop ones these are actually i i barely use them but i really like these colors so I probably will keep them with me. Next we have Maybelline. I think this is Maybelline, right? Yeah, Maybelline is such a like, like their matte ink collection is literally fire. Like I love, love this one. 
Okay, let's go to our next one and it is the um, Soft Lip Liqueur from 3CE. I have about uh, five of them from the collection, so <laughs> let's look at these. I think I'll definitely keep these still just because I really, really like how they look, especially the uh, change mode. I think I'm always a sucker for red, so that's why I will keep this one. But I'll keep them all just because I like them so much. Okay, next we have the Laneige lipsticks. I already swatched these on my channel, so check it out. Check the video out. I honestly don't use this at all just because I don't really care much about like gradient, like old style gradient looks. Um, yeah, it's just not my thing anymore. Next, we have the Pony lipsticks. I absolutely love the Pony Effect um, lip liquid lipsticks. These are a matte finish and they always look great on my lips, especially the these two. These are my favorite duo combination. A lot of my videos and Instagram uh, posts, I'm wearing these two. Next, we have this crayon. We have lip gloss or kind of like a, t a glossy tint as well as these are glossy tints. So, oh, and this is also a glossy tint. Uh, these all over here are from 3CE, except for this one, which is from um, Pony Effect. Oh, it's finally emptying. Then we have the Cloud Lip Tint Collection. Oh my God, this collection is definitely a um, love and hate relationship. Then we have all of these 3CE lipsticks. Oh my god, I have so many lipsticks from them just because I kind of went through a lipstick phase. So let's look at all these. Yeah, <laughs> this is from, I have no even idea, I have no idea what this collection is from. This is from their, mm, this is from their matte collection? I believe this is from their matte lipstick collection and I still love these. I absolutely love these. I just don't use them that much just because when you're applying them, like the application process is kind of drying. Like it's almost like it, like it's a hard, it's like, it's not like a smooth application. It's more like you're dragging it to like apply nicely on the lips. So that's the only con about their matte lipstick collection. But I really, really love these colors. These are such gorgeous colors and like I said, I have already review on these, so you can check all the review videos that I have on all of these, pretty much all of my lipstick collection. But yeah, we're gonna not um, deal with this right now, but I'll definitely keep these for sure. We're almost done with the first section, thank goodness. I have all of these miscellaneous ones. Um, yeah, I don't... Mm. Why is this so hard? Okay, so I think I'll get rid of the Revlon ones because they're all old. The e.l.f. ones I don't really care much about because I don't really use them. Numbing ones are newer recent collections so I'm keeping those. This one, the color is like kind of makes me look dead. Not dead, it just makes me look old. So I'm probably going to get rid of that one. This one is from, um, what is this brand? Oh, Bite. <laughs> Oops. It's from Bite and I really like this color. It's like a very vampy purple color for winter and Halloween time. So I'll kind of keep that. And then this one I barely use because it's just like a, kind of like a bricky color like I don't know yeah it's like a really pretty bricky color but it's almost like a bricky color that makes you look old so I don't really use it as much but like I'll still keep it because I barely used it <laughs> oh my, my lipstick is falling my lipstick is falling um and then we have this one which um yeah I just like you know don't really care much for it it's like a mini two match set from Etude House so one side is like a red and the other side is like a nude color and it's supposed to be good for like the more modern gradient look that people do in Korea but I don't really do this yeah don't really use it that much and I kind of forgot about that one <laughs> oops sorry <laughs> uh, this one is the Maybelline um, Le Chocolat uh, liquid lipstick and I never really touched this one either because it's a nude color that just looks dead on me so yeah that probably will um, go away okay we're done with one shelf next to the second shelf um, this shelf is um, basically a lot of miscellaneous lipsticks and lip like liquid lipsticks yeah so let's start with that one <laughs> we're gonna go first with the g9 um skin lipsticks uh these yeah i barely touch honestly the colors are gorgeous honestly it's just the formula of them are not my favorite that's why i'm gonna get rid of them except for rich red just because i like red colors next we have like these random lip 
um, serum. I'm gonna keep this. I don't even know why I have it in my lipstick collection. I think I, this should be in my skincare, but keeping that. And I'm keeping these two because these are from my trip to Japan, and I absolutely love this. This is the brand uh, Mika. What? No, I'm reading this upside down. Mykohan. Yeah, Mykohan. And I really, really like these because you can use them on your lips and your cheeks. Then we have all of these miscellaneous ones, honestly. Um, this one is from Hymish, um, Bia, Wake, Lily, Byred. Is it Lily Byred? By I have no idea. Uh, Makeup Face, Hamish, Dear Dahlia. Let's go into this collection. This is the Eto House um, like collection that they have for their cool tone collection. I already did a review on these already, so like, I don't know if I'll keep them just because they are meant for more cool tone gals, and I am not cool tone for sure. So we're gonna probably get rid of these. Then we have like, oh my god, I almost knocked that over. Then we have this collection right here. These are like the mini collection, and I actually like um, did a review on these as well, and I never touched these. So I may get rid of these. Now this is the third shelf, um, it's all Betty Better colors, all Betty Better lipsticks that I love and yeah, some of these are really old and some of these are quite new so let's dig in. Honestly, I have no idea why I have so many Betty Better lipsticks but like I absolutely love them. Um, I am a lipstick holic, like I told you guys. So we're gonna start off with the ones in the back. I actually organized these by their line, and this is the Airy Velvet line. Definitely gonna keep the Airy Velvet lines just because those are more newer ones from my collection. So yeah, we're gonna keep those for sure. Then we have the Gelatin gelato we have the gelato collection those are new as well i actually got these from a friend so we're gonna keep those then we have the la cure collection and i don't know i i kind of feel like i don't ever gravitate towards the la cure collection um so i might get rid of these honestly this is the colors from the ones that i have from the collection and now that i look at it I don't think I'll keep these honestly. They're pretty, but they're not worth keeping. We have their um, serum collection. Totally keeping the serum collection. Those are actually one of my newer ones and I really, really love their serum collection. Then we're gonna go with their Sugar Glow collection. And honestly, I don't really care much about their Sugar Glow, Sugar Glow collection. Um, they just never looked that great on me. So we're gonna take, we're gonna get rid of those and they expired in 2018 so we're gonna really get rid of those um and then we have a lot of their newer ink velvet collection ones these i'm definitely gonna keep i absolutely love their velvet um ink velvet collection so keeping these guys i feel proud of myself look at this i cut down so much from the betty Better collection so proud of myself so proud of myself so this one from maybelline i'm totally keeping love this color is gorgeous on my lips this um lip layer from 3ce totally keeping this one as well i love that color this one from um berry some i'm getting rid of this because it's just not a pretty formula and it doesn't look good next we are going to the lip gloss collection the fourth um shelf basically of lip glosses kind of feel proud of myself like look at this i'm like emptying everything out um so we're gonna check out all my lip glosses and see what i will keep or not to be honest um, excuse you to be honest i'm probably not getting rid of any of my lip glosses because one they're mostly pretty new stop falling <laughs> two um i love my lip glosses i cannot get rid of these and yeah i'm totally just keeping these i'm not gonna even like consider looking at them because i already know i'm keeping these i have my venti beauty one this one totally keeping because i it's new <laughs> and i love their slip slip shine collection i kind of want to buy more from her collection because i love these so it's going to go into my keeping pile which is over here 
And then these, um, I like these. These are all my travel size. You know, like the ones that you get from Sephora, basically. Um, I'm going to keep these because they're like really pretty new colors. This one is new, actually. I don't think I ever used this one. Oh, I just collapsed. Collapsed. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't really use it that much, but like we're going to we're going to keep it, girl. And the Chanel one, I like this gloss. This one is from uh, Jones Hang Mul, which is a kind of more luxurious Korean brand, but I don't really use it that much. So this one's going to go into the no pile. And this one is the, I believe, what is this, YSL? Is this YSL? I think this is YSL. Yeah, YSL. So I like this color, so I'm keeping it. And then this G9 skin, I kind of barely never touch it. So I'm probably going to get rid of this. And I wonder when it expired. Wow, we are finally done. I am so happy. We're like, we're done. Yay. I mean, now we have to like put them all back together and organize them. But like, we are done. So to my left, I have all of the lipsticks that I'm keeping. These are basically ones that I use all the time. And the uh, colors suit my complexion. And then on my right, over here, are the lipsticks that I will uh, recycle or I will give to friends um, if they haven't expired yet. But most of them I will just be recycling. Now it's time for me to put them all back and I do have some new lipsticks that I will put into the collection which I'm really happy about. First I'm going to put these lipsticks back. Uh, these are my new Fenty Beauty lip, mini lip glosses and I love these. Um, one of them is somewhere in the room. I'll find it eventually because I'm the type of person that kind of loses all my lipstick and then I have like 20 million lipsticks in one purse. So we're going to look for them but we're, these are going to be new addition to the collection as well as these which are the new dear dahlia um i guess matte collection i think they're matte collection right this is from their liquid lipstick collection so love these these are new so we're gonna put them in my collection now done um i feel like it's not as aesthetic as i want it to look but that's okay i don't have to f uh, worry about the petty Beta collection because i already have it organized so we're gonna have to deal with the rest of these and the second shelf and this tiny one here um, i think i'm gonna put the lip glosses here left remainder ones that I have so I'm gonna put it in this shelf here and then I'm still gonna put my more expensive uh, lipsticks here just so that it looks pretty by the way I want to show you my um, lipstick collection in the daylight because I finished filming last night really late <laughs> so yeah so this is pretty much how it looks now and I think there's definitely less than a hundred now um, so I'm really proud of myself honestly and over here I kind of kept most of my 3CE lipsticks as well as the nude additions from Dear Dahlia and there's the Maybelline ones over here are my lip glosses as well as my Venti Beauty and then over here are kind of more miscellaneous lipsticks and over here are my Betty Betta tints which I really love and then over here is my um, like more expensive lipsticks so yeah that is pretty much it I'm kind of sweaty because of how much I was trying to like clean everything and organize everything I'm so proud of myself that I finally got to like declutter everything um, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of decluttering um, lipstick collection video it's so my first time ever doing like a decluttering video on my channel so I hope it's not that bad. I know that I change angles like so many times but you know first time but I hope you guys enjoy it and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. Of course follow me on my Instagram and other social media platform that's where I'm a little bit more personal. That's pretty much it for everything today and I love you guys. Take care of your health, diverse beauties and I'll talk to you guys later.
Bye. <laughs> Woohoo!